ladies and gentlemen, Ninja here, and today we're going to be doing another LEGO review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Batman Gotham City Cycle Chase. This is a DC superhero set. comes with 224 pieces, and the set number is 76053, and it comes with three glorious minifigures. You have Deadshot, Harley Quinn, and Batman. Um, of course, everybody only gets this set for Harley Quinn and Deadshot. Here is the back of the box. You can see all the play features and stuff. But without further ado, let's get this set open because I want to get at that Harley Quinn minifigure and that Deadshot minifigure. Um, they look pretty cool, and I went and saw Suicide Squad, so that's part of the reason I got this set. Oh man, look at that Lego. All right. Wow, that all came out in like one nice little. Uh, plop there. Nice, just set the box off to the side. He got stickers. Of course, no Lego set is complete without stickers. Bag one. Bag two, which is funny, but there's just a pink. Can you see that? There's just a pink, uh, let me flip this thing. This is just a pink two by two brick in there. And this is the bat cycle we're talking about building here. And then it looks like I'm gonna have an instruction book, probably one, yeah, one for Harley's bike and one for Batman's bike. So, that's all the contents of the box. Now you know what happens next. Let's build the set. guys I got this set built and now let's go ahead and take a look at these brilliant minifigures um, I guess we'll just get the most lame like the lamest minifigure out of the way here sorry I was gonna roll up my sleeve um, you have Batman which this is like the generic version of Batman that comes in all these DC sets let me just go ahead and get the camera to focus there we go um, generic Batman comes in every DC set doesn't have really anything new there's the face print, there's the back of the face, there's the back print, and it does come with a battering and a grappling hook, and it's always nice to get another one of these grappling hook pieces. So that's the least boring minifigure. Now we have uh, Harley Quinn, which this is not her Suicide Squad version, but it's as close as LEGO's getting, considering the fact they've made more than half of the Suicide Squad in LEGO this year. So it has, she has some really nice printing on there. There's the front print and the back print of the face and torso. And I like this new hair piece that has been dual molded with the blue and the red. And I'll show you guys her hammer in a little bit. Stand. And then you have Deadshot, which Deadshot is the only one who really comes with an original weapon. Like, I like this backpack mold, it's really nice. And of course he does have a stud shooter, which if you guys don't know how the stud shooter works, you just press this and it shoots the stud out. Now, let's take a look at this brilliant, wow, I keep dropping into figures. Let's take a look at this brilliant uh, printing here. He has some really nice printing. Again, this is not the version of Deadshot from Suicide Squad, um, but they did take the care of uh, painting on his guns there. His, on either arm his like wrist mounted guns which is really cool here's the backpack mold which I really like this like jump pack um, and I'll just go ahead and take the back piece off so you guys can see the back printing there and he does have a chrome like print it's a nice like chrome detail on him which is really cool so let's go ahead and just take a look at one of the least like, I guess both of the bikes are kind of uninteresting, but they're motorcycles. So, um, you have Harley Quinn's bike here, which has the hammer on the side, which what you can do with the hammer is you can either put it this way, and you could, like, sideswipe people coming this way, or 
you can take this off and you can clip it this way and rotate the hammer and you can hammer like that which is cool or you can just take the hammer out and give Harley the hammer but the only problem is she's very very off balance when she holds it so if she's not on studs she's not going to be standing up with that hammer in hand but hammer aside Harley can sit on the motorcycle which um, I'm not going to put her hands on because you guys know you can do that but um, yeah that's what she looks like on the motorcycle it's really like very self-explanatory I mean it's okay um, and then Batman's motorcycle has nice clips on the back for you to put his batarang and you can put his grappling hook back here and then you have a place for them which is something they usually don't do with sets is they don't give you a place to put the weapons which is really bad because if you don't have a place to put the weapons you're gonna lose the weapons and that's what you don't want to do is you don't want to lose said weapons so the way Batman sits on his motorcycle is kind of odd um, he doesn't actually have any studs to hold him in he does have to hold on to the handlebar here and this just it's really bad because if you think about this realistically the only thing Batman's gonna be looking at with that angle is the front tire and that's it um, and then on the back these things that hold the weapons can also be rotated and they can they are stud shooters so they can shoot studs and these are not prints they're stickers although I put my stickers on very well so that's really it for the stuff in the set I mean it's not the best set ever I mean I'm just gonna go ahead and rate it I don't think there's anything else to say this set the only reason I would recommend you to get this set is because I think this is gonna be the only way to get Harley Quinn and Deadshot for a little while well Deadshot especially because Deadshot has not been seen in anything for the Lego Batman movie yet so this will be the only way to get Deadshot, I think, for maybe like two or three years before they give us another version of Deadshot. And maybe that'll be with the next Suicide Squad movie, or maybe that'll be with a movie with, that has the uh, DCEU version of Deadshot. I think the minifigures are great. I think Deadshot and Harley Quinn are the best parts of this set. I think the motorcycle builds are really generic and nothing to, like, run home or hit the park about. They're okay, they're not anything super special it's just motorcycles um i don't like the way batman sits it's kind of weird um and i mean the batman figure is nothing to nothing to get excited about it's just your generic batman figure that's comes in every like every dc set and so i'm gonna rate this set this is probably gonna be the worst rating i'm ever gonna give a set i'm gonna give it a five out of ten just because the bike builds are so bad, they just do not fit in with anything else in the DC set universe. Um, and the only thing keeping this set from being like a three is these two minifigures. That's the only thing keeping me from putting this set at like a three um, is because I like those minifigures. So set's $20 if I didn't say that already. Um, if you guys want to buy it, great. You can go ahead and buy it. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy it. I just, I would not buy this again. Like if I had the, like if I had infinite amounts of money and could buy any set, I would not buy this. No, I only bought it for the minifigures. So if you guys enjoyed this review, don't forget to leave it a like down below. You guys can comment what sets you want me to review next. Subscribe for more Lego awesomeness and I will see you all next time. Peace out.